welcome back to another video on my channel. So today's video is a nail art tutorial, really simple marble nail art using only gel polish. So these are just some images of some marbling that I've done on clients nails just to give you an idea. So yeah, if you want to see this video just keep watching. And before I start I just wanted to tell you what I had on my nails because I'm totally in love. This is the Magpie Glitter Scarlet Encapsulated over every single nail and I'm just in love. Look at that sparkle. Love it. Okay, so let's start. If you were doing this on natural nails, you'd go in with all about the base, which is a base coat from Magpie. I'll be using all Magpie products. But because I'm just doing this on a swatch, I will be going straight in with my colour, which is Black Betty from Magpie Beauty. Going in with one thin, quite. I'm working quite thin, thinner than I would usually go with Magpie gels, and applying one coat of that, curing in the lamp for 60 seconds. Okay, now that's back out, I'm going in with another layer over that, applying it nice and even so that we get that full coverage. So I'm not curing this layer, so it's going to stay wet, and I'm just decanting some of my colours, so Black Betty, Plain Jane, which is a white, onto my little palette, some Let It Shine, which is Magpie's top coat. And what I'm going to do is go in with Magpie Striper Brush, which is a super fine. If you haven't tried Magpie brushes, you need to. They are such good quality and so fine. So I'm going in with the Striper Brush. And again, I haven't cured this, so it's still wet. And as you can see, I'm going into that white first, getting a good even coverage over my brush. As you can see there, it sometimes beads at the end, so just give it a wipe off. I'm literally just swiping it through that black gel. I think the trick with marble is, is not to go by another set of nails, not to look at nails and go, oh, the marble needs to look like that. Search on Google actual marble stone and go from an image like that. That way you're going to get it much more realistic. So I've gone in with my white gel, just applied it randomly. And I'm now going in with my clear gel and I'm dragging it straight over where I have applied that white. Again, not cured this at all yet, so everything's still wet. I am keep going back into that clear gel and applying it down the sides of where I've put that white gel on top. It just starts to blend the two together and give that really realistic marble effect. And then I'm going back in with the black to add some more depth in and detail in some areas because sometimes you do lose a bit of the black. So I'm happy with that, so that's going to go in the lamp for a full cure of 60 seconds going in with my let it shine top coat and you're done it is literally as simple as that i would say a tip is don't overwork it when you're doing marble because then it can just go into a mess stop and think to yourself right this is done put it in your lamp cure it even if you're not completely happy with it because i guarantee it will look better than overworking it so I'm just going to show you in a couple of different colours. So I'm going in with Woe Nelly from Magpie Beauty. Again, applying one thin coat. And how amazing is this colour? It's one of their new autumn collection colours and it's opaque in one coat. Amazing! So I'm going in with my second layer after curing the first for 60 seconds in my LED lamp. Leaving that uncured. And I'm just applying a bit of that Woe Nelly onto my palette. And going back in with the white, you can marble in any colour, so you could have done the marble in black, blue, green, whatever you fancy. And I'm just going in, the key is to be random, don't be precise and put the lines next to each other, it just won't look realistic. So the messier the better really. So going in with that white first, then going into that clear, I do clean my brush off between each colour. Going into that clay again, wiping it down the sides of those white where I've placed it, on top of the white, through the white, just keep adding. And then I'm going in with that woe nilly to create a bit more detail and I'm stopping. I'm not going any further. Going back in with my Let It Shine top coat after curing 60 seconds and applying that one layer over the top of the nail. And then that will go into the lamp for 60 seconds. So I'm just going to show you how to do the rose quartz nail. I'm using Good Golly Miss Molly from Magpie, which is their sheer French colour. 
And now the key with this is I'm not applying two coats here. I'm literally applying the one layer and I'm applying it quite patchily. So in some areas it's more pigmented pink than others. And the reason why I've done that is because if you look at Rose Quartz Stone, you've got different depths of pink. It creates that more realistic effect again. And then I'm just going in with that white a little bit more than I used in the others. And I'm going in with a lot of clear and just applying it over the top of where I've put that white. I would say for the rose quartz effect, you can be a bit more messy with it. So apply a lot more clear because you want it to be really blended. And if you look at those rose quartz stone pictures, they're really intense and layered. The layers go right down throughout the stone with different depths of the pink. And it's quite a frosted effect. So I'm going back in with some Good Golly Miss Molly, adding a bit of depth in areas with that pink. And as you can see here, it's a lot more soft and blended. So I'm after curing in the lamp for 60 seconds, I'm going in with my Let It Shine top coat, giving that a nice even layer, and then that will go in to cure for another 60 seconds. And that's all three of them done. So as you can see, it creates a really cool effect and you could add more marbling, you could add less, make it finer. It's completely personal preference up to what the client wants. So yeah, it creates a really cool effect and you can do it in any color you want. I just did these three. So what I thought I would show you is you could add some more detail. So going in with Honey Bunny, which is from Magpie again, and it's a gold shimmery glittery color. I'm just taking my striper brush again and going in on that black now and just adding some lines into those marbled areas and just creating really a point of interest with those golds. So this will be really cool if you're doing a set of nails and you've got, say, a full nail of gold glitter. Then to add a bit of this into the nail will really bring the design together. I think another thing to make note of I am using Magpie Gel Colours, which are a pure gel formula, so I'm not sure with other brands, for example Gelish, I don't know how well it will work with them if you'll get wrinkling in your lamp, but with Magpie Beauty Gel Colours, it's perfect, they don't wrinkle at all, because again, they're the pure gel colour formula, so they are fabulous for this type of nail art effect. So yeah, I do recommend searching images of actual marble stone. It will give you such good inspiration for your nails. And I think that is them done. So I would apply a coat of Let It Shine top coat to seal it all in. Cure for 60 seconds. And that's the three done. So you can create really cool designs with this and it's so simple and easy. But thank you so much for watching, like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!